Welcome to a fresh set of devos this week where we are going to talk about starting again. It's a good time of year to look at this because we're into the middle of summer at this point. And uh, as we're in summer, um, this is a time that a lot of people that are into habits and goal setting, uh, a friend of mine calls the time of great forgetting. That's the time whenever you're in the middle of the year and you're so wrapped up in what's going on, so wrapped up in all the day-to-day activities that you forget about the goals that you started back in January. So today I want to really ask you this question. What have you stopped doing that you wish you would have kept going with? Uh, What have you done? Is this something regarding your spiritual life? A lot of us, we have really big goals at the beginning of the year about what we're going to do. Maybe join a group, maybe uh, read the Bible every day, pray. Uh, Some of us, we want to get better in our marriages, so we try to set aside time um, to invest in our marriage maybe become more affectionate. Those things kind of all go by the wayside. What about professional goals, Uh, writing, or maybe even side things that you've been wanting to work on? Whatever it is, today and this week, my challenge is going to be to you for you to start again. And today is the day. Now, the one thing I want to caution you about when it comes to any kind of goal setting or when it comes to especially when you are feeling overwhelmed because you let something go, it's so easy for us to be like, okay, I'm just going to do all of the things. Like today I'm going to start getting healthy. I'm going to start working on my marriage. I'm going to start to be a better father. I'm going to start to all my spiritual life. I'm going to schedule my day up. I have a 15 minute increments. I want to encourage you to do something that might seem kind of the opposite of that. And that is start today by picking one thing. Uno, one. Why? Because you just know that you're not going to do all those things. You know it. I mean, you might do them for a couple weeks. Like you might start off and like really kill it. But then when you let one thing go, all of them are going to fall by the wayside. So I want to encourage you. What, did, what is it that the Lord impressed on you in the beginning of the year that you ought to keep going with? What is that thing? I want you to pick that thing back up and start today. And I want you to be really, really specific. I think in our culture... We are bombarded with options and things that we ought to do. And you know, people tell us things we should do, and you should be doing this, and you ought to be doing this. And we end up doing none of those things. So I want to encourage you to pick just one. And singular focus is simple. The Apostle Paul uh, even himself said this in Philippians chapter 3, verse 13 and 14. He says, brothers, I don't consider that I've made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining towards what lies ahead, here's the one thing, I press on toward the goal of the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. He is expressly saying that his whole life is summed up by pressing in to the high calling of God. Everything that he does overflows out of that one thing, that one thing. Now, this might not be a life-defining thing for you, but it's just a single thing. It might be just working out. It might be just you trying to find time to have meditative time before God where you're praying. Whatever it is, just choose one thing and start again. Don't be discouraged. Don't say, oh, I've fallen so far. Don't say, I, I, I can't get back. Don't listen to any of that stuff. Today, I want you to clear all of that mental madness, and I want you to say, okay, God wants me to do this thing. God says there's no condemnation. Today, I start again, and I'm going to start again on the thing that God wanted me to do.